it's Miss Diane from the Kinsman Free Public Library. Welcome to another episode of No Fun Room Story Time. So we do the same thing here at the pizza shop. And that's awesome to have something so fresh, like you said, front to table. Um, the kids now know where it comes from. Yeah. So Floyd and Amy also operate Good Intentions that just opened up up the road, and it's a market and cafe, so you can get some of their fresh produce there, take it home, make a great salad. It's really yummy. So can you tell us maybe what your most popular pizza is here? I think probably the most popular one is called a pizza. Oh. It's uh, lots of meat on the pizza. And it has pepperoni and sausage and Italian sausage and ham and just loaded with all these different varieties of meat. Oh um, my gosh, no vegetables. It's not a vegetable. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So um, today I'm going to be reading the story of Pizza Cat. And we're going to build our own pizza with some crazy toppings, which I'm going to take a little bite from. So thanks again, Floyd, for having us out. So today I'm going to be reading Pete the Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party, which was written by Kimberly and James Dean. And James has done all the illustrations for this book. But first I would like to share some fun facts you may not know about pizza. So pizza was originally brought to us by the immigrants in Italy in the early 19th century, so about the 1900s. And the first pizza parlor opened up in 1905 in New York City. So you can put almost anything on a pizza that you can think of. So what do you think the most popular topping in the United States okay. is? So if you guessed pepperoni, you would be right. Did you know that every second so Americans one order 350 slices of pizza to eat? That's a lot of pizza. The first restaurant to deliver pizza to space, can you guess which shop that was? I think it's Domino's, Papa John's, Pizza Hut. Well, actually Pizza Hut. Can you imagine pizza in space? And the most popular night to order pizza is on Saturday. And of course, the most popular topping is pepperoni. What's your favorite topping? So the world's largest circular pizza that was baked Okay. It's recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records and it was set in 1990. Can you guess how big it was? It was 122 feet and 8 inches across. And it weighed over 26,000 pounds. You can imagine baking something that big. So, can you guess what the favorite thing for kids ages 3 to 11? eat for dinner or lunch. It's pretty easy. It's pizza. So the word 
pizza is actually a Latin word that means flattening of the crust by fire. So here they use an oven, but there are some places places that use a fire oven or a stove oven to make their pizzas, and it might be a little dark and black on the edges. And that was the original way that they made pizzas okay. in a stone yeah. oven. So, so can you guess how fast and how many pizzas the world's fastest pizza maker can make? In two minutes and 35 seconds, he can make 14 pizzas. That's a lot of pizza. And the first pizza, if you've ever heard of a margarita pizza, it's actually in honor of a queen whose name is Margarita. It was the first pizza to be ever made with cheese. So I hope you enjoyed these fun facts. Now I'm going to read the story of people had a perfect pizza. And as you can see, I have a slice of pizza here. And there's some interesting toppings that all of Pete's friends like to put on this pizza. So when I'm finished reading the story, I'm actually going to take a bite of it and see how it tastes. I don't know. There's some really interesting toppings here. But Pete was really excited to have a pizza party with all of his friends. And his favorite topping on this pizza is extra cheese and pepperoni. Pete the cat loves pizza, and he loves parties too. Pete had an idea of what he could do. He would have the perfect pizza party, and you're invited. Sounds like a lot of fun. Bring your swimsuits. There's going to be music and games and lots of fun. So Pete's friends all arrived, and it was time to build the perfect pizza together. That would make the pizza even better. Pete thought the perfect pizza would be pepperoni with extra cheese. He started to make it. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pizza party. There's going to be hit the tail on the unicorn, but everyone did not agree. Allie said, Pepperoni would be just fine, but I really love pretzels on mine. I'll put a few pretzels on this pizza. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pretzels? Well, that's something new. Maybe pretzels can be groovy, too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pizza party. The squirrel said, Pepperoni and pretzels would be just fine, but I really love pistachio nuts on mine. He and the gang were puzzled. Pistachios? You ever heard of nuts on a pizza? Not something new. Well, maybe pistachios would be something groovy too. Let's put a few pistachios on this pizza. I know, it's looking yummy. What do you think? It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pizza party. Well, Grumpy Toad said pepperoni pretzels and pistachios would be just fine. I really love pickles on mine. He's the game of puzzle. Pickles? You ever tried pickles on a pizza? Well, that's something new. But maybe pickles so, would be groovy too. Let's add some pickles to this pizza. I do love pickles, but I've never had them on a pizza. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle pizza party. I wonder when they're going to eat. I'm getting hungry. Gus came and said, pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, and pickles are just fine, but I really love popcorn on mine. Eat the gang were puzzled. Popcorn? Well, that's something new. Maybe popcorn be, could be groovy, too. Let's add some popcorn to this pizza. Maybe the pizza shop can add Pete the Cat's pizza to their menu. That would be crazy. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, pizza party. Look at pizza party bus. That sounds like fun. 
friend the alligator showed up and said pepperoni, pretzels, pistachio, pickles, and popcorn would be just fine. But I really love papaya on mine. Do you realize all of these toppings start with P? Well, I don't have any papaya, but I have something else that starts with the letter P. Can you guess what it might be? It's a fruit, and it's yellow. Yes? It's pineapple. You can put some pineapple on this pizza. I know people have put pineapple on their pizza before and bacon and call it a Hawaiian pizza, so this should be good. All right. Now, Pete and the gang were really puzzled. Pineapple? Well, that's something new for me. Pineapple can be groovy, too. Now they're in the bound house. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya, pizza party. That's a lot of peas. What a tongue twister. I'd like to hear you say that five times fast. Keep the gang piled the pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickle, popcorn, and pineapple on top. And ding, the pizza was done. Trying something new might be fun. They all build up the courage to take a first bite and the pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, pineapple pizza was, do you think it's gonna taste very good? I don't know. Out of sight, they said it was dynamite. And just right, we'll see about that. In the end, the perfect pizza is a pizza shared with a friend. I'm going to go ahead and try this pizza. I oh, know, it looks actually pretty yummy. All right, here I go. I think about your favorite toppings, and if you would try something new, maybe you can make one just like this at home. All right, here I go. Delicious. Well, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.